Hey guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. You have been asking us to show you some more worthy blue water sailing yachts. And this one behind me has made a cameo in a couple of our videos in the background. And a lot of you have said, what is that? Show it to us. Well, we finally get an opportunity. This beauty just went up for sale and we get to tour it. I want you to meet Gin and Tonic. She's a 2010 Moody 62 DS, which stands for? Tech Salon. Which we will find out what that means. She's definitely a serious blue water sailing vessel. She's ready for world cruising and she's undergone a massive refit. So let's go check it out. Welcome aboard. We're gonna start in the cockpit. Wow, what about these walkways? So it's unusually tall, which is pretty safe for also like small kids, pets. pets. Yeah, it's really, really safe. And also in general, like you're not used to having a proper bulwarks when you are on board of a sailing vessel. It's somewhat rare. So I definitely think for someone who is a little bit more, you know, afraid of like completely open deck, this is pretty nice compromise here. It's pretty I agree. beautiful. It's very safe. All right, coming back. There's a lot to see here. So we got a dual helm set up. The teak is really beautiful. Which just got refinished wow, as well. Really nice. So fun fact, Rico's company was actually handling the refit a couple of years ago and he knows a whole bunch of stuff because of it. So I'm just gonna... We changed a lot. Yeah, like I'm just gonna lot. let him tell you guys about it. So you get to find out what they all did. What I are mean, we looking at? I mean, for starters, the exterior paint was changed. The hole was completely repainted. So that nice dark coffee gray. Like what a, is that? Coffee brown? It's like an brown? aubergine coffee kind of... Um... Aubergine is not an English word. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess eggplant. I don't think coffee. that's eggplant. eggplant yeah, it's it's is more like purplish. coffee. It's, it's more like, like coffee. a coffee, yeah. And it has a golden boot stripe and it looks actually really good. It's a very unique color. You see this boat coming in, you always like, oh, what is that? So many yeah. people ask all yeah. the time, right? So there's a big storage slash dinghy garage underneath this platform here. Mm -hmm. And it has a big stern door, which is hydraulic. So this platform comes in really handy. First of all, it's your swim platform. Secondly, it helps you with launching, retrieving the dinghy, putting a dinghy cover back on and so on. It's a pretty handy tool. And then we have plenty of storage capability in the garage or in the lazarette. Just like that? Just like that. Nice. Is it coming with a dinghy? It comes with a tender. Oh, yeah, cool. That's an 11-foot okay. Eurosport Apex with a Yamaha outboard and comes with a boat. As we slowly keep coming forward, we have dual ham stations. Yep. Well, that's your domain. Go ahead. All right, so we did... And don't forget to point out stuff that was changed and upgraded. Oh, boy. Do we have enough time for all that? I don't know. Do we have enough time? You guys let us know. I'm pretty sure the guys would want to know what was changed in this boat. All right. So for starters, the helm wheels, the original ones were taken off and we replaced them with carbon fiber wheels. Oh, um, both, that's I was wondering sides. why they look so nice. That was a pretty big upgrade. All the electronics are replaced. So we have the brand new Axiom Raymarine electronics here. Brand new autopilot, brand new multifunction, brand new radar. The entire Raymarine package was upgraded inside and outside. Wow. So all the electronics are new. Both helm stations are exactly identical? Almost identical, yes. We have the touchscreen, but we also opt to have the remote controls just in case the touchscreens at some point stop working or, you know, not reacting as they should. We added the remote controls on both sides as well. Then you have your shift and throttle control, electronic controls on both helms so not just on one side you also have another station on the interior which we're going to show later here's the remote control for the stern door we have our bow and stern thruster controls right here this boat is outfitted with drop down bow and stern thrusters when they're not in use retracting all the way back and creating a slick flat surface of the bottom of the boat so you're not going to have any resistance any you know water turbulences or anything like that so it's like it's not there 
And when you use it, you drop them down. And then you have your remote right here, which looks like the shape of a boat. So you can push the bow over or you push the stern over or you can push the whole boat over. They're actually really powerful, the thrusters. When we started the refit, they were both not operational. So we got them completely rebuilt, put new motors in, and they're working like a charm. I mean, they're very powerful, actually. So you can um, go a bit sideways if yeah. you need to? Yeah. Wow, cool. And it's unique to have a stern thruster on a sailing vessel. Usually you have a bow thruster that's kind of standard at this point in larger sailing vessels, but having a stern thruster is not really that common. So it really helps a lot going sideways into slips or if you're not that experienced maneuvering like a 62 foot sailing boat. So um, And this helps. is a very voluminous 62 footer, right? It's also a very heavy 62 footer. So, you know, any kind of two, three, four foot wind chop, you really don't feel at all. Like the boat doesn't move much. So what is this DS? It stands for Dexalon. So as you can see, you have the same floor height walking from the cockpit into the salon. Oh, so you're not, you you're don't not have the companion going... way down and be down below. I get it. I want to say like the best of both worlds. It's a little bit like a monohull catamaran-ish kind of setup, which I really enjoy because underway you can sit in the salon, you can sit at the nav station, you open up all the windows, you have a 360 degree view. You that, see everything. That's so true. You don't necessarily need to be in the weather. You have your electronics inside as well. You have your engine controls inside. Of course, if you need to do any adjustments to the sails yeah then you need to go outside and just you know trim the sails or tag but or it's whatever. pretty nice because you could stay inside and like literally in the long crossings yeah. instead of sitting in a cockpit and exactly. being cold you can actually be out there this is the access if you're underway for example you don't want to open the stern door for safety reasons you don't want to get all the water coming in you have a huge hatch here to actually open up and get into your storage compartment makes sense or whatever getting fenders out for docking you know that sort of stuff the cleats which we have here they're all drop down or pop-up cleats but they're really heavy duty and then you have the gunnels where the dock lines going through the height of the top deck here is fairly high so if you have big following seas you're most likely not getting any kind of water in but if you happen to get any water in we have drains here, we have a big drain here, and then we also have the ability to... No way! Wow! So just in case you get a lot of water over the stern, if you're like in a really bad storm, and you can lift this board up here to prevent from water going so into the So the water salon. is going right into that little gap there. And then drains out and then drains there too. I mean, that has too. to be some really bad to, seas. That, that would be some serious seas. Seas yeah. I would not really want to yeah. be in. <laughs> Well, that just tells you guys, true blue water sailing vessel. Okay, let's go forward on the starboard. There's a barbecue here. <laughs> yeah. And as we go forward, look how tall this is and how comfortable. I mean, yeah. you have railings all the way going up. Look, all the way where you are. Yep, it's super easy and safe. I mean, it does really feel like you're on a motor yacht. Mm -hmm. It does not feel like you're on a sailing yacht right now. Yeah, yeah. The way these windows feel, it's very tall. So we have the same here, like on the port side, here on the starboard side, we have the fold down boarding step, which is pretty convenient. Got our water fills right there. Oh, two of them. Mm -hmm. These are just vents. Okay. And then you're standing on the propane locker, propane tanks in there. That's for the stove? Yes. Got it. Stove and oven. And here are the gunnels we were talking about, which is also somewhat unusual and unique to have in a sailing vessel, to have this kind of style of a gunnel. It's very comfortable. You know, it's helping with non-shaving of lines and yep. it's just super nice to easily put them through. I mean, I like the whole boo walks. Yeah. I really like it that they're coming up on this boat. Yeah, it feels really safe. All right, let's go forward. So we just replaced both four sails and also the main sail was recently replaced a couple of years ago. The four sails are brand new. All the running rigging is brand new. We just got the two electric furlers for the four sails rebuilt. These are massive electric furlers and they work really well. So we have the self tacker here on the inner one and then we have a little bit of a mixture of a Genoa slash Code Zero on the forward furler. Wow, you guys did a lot of work. There's a huge hatch here. Yep, 
Just big access hatch that's to the master cabin's head. And look at all of these hatches. And these two are really large hatches. And it looks like you can open a shade down there. So it gives you a lot of daylight. Correct. That's in. for the master stateroom. So you can have some really good cross breeze and fresh air ventilation. So if you don't want to run the air condition, you can just open the hatches. So as I mentioned, like all the running rigging is brand new. Here's our self tacker, as you can see. Then the boat has a spinnaker pole, which is mounted right here on the mast. You've sailed this boat solo, right? Yeah. Like you can totally, one, oh, yeah. one, you can single one hand. capable person can. You can totally single hand this boat, no problem at all. So it's great for a couple that wants to oh, yeah. cruise the world. It's a very solid, heavy built sailboat. Well, Moody has got a great reputation that, for making really quality world cruisers. You know, every time we've seen a Moody, I feel like it's had a lot of really cool features for basically cruising the world. True. And also just a really good quality of a build. Sadly, they didn't build that many of the 62s. I don't know why, because I think it's a really cool model. And as you guys can see later on, it has so much space on the interior. So I really like this boat. Well, that means whoever gets it, it's going to be very lucky because there's yeah. not that many of them, not that many available. So we have a hydraulic boom vang here on a hydraulic system, which I still have to point out in the cockpit, as well as a winch tightening. There's a steel cable actually. That is for the jib. On the other side, we have another one for the second foresail. So that's where you put tension on your halyard. Works really well, actually. And also what's really interesting is how this is enclosed, sort of protected. So you can completely walk on this bow without having a possibility of breaking your toes and getting your toes cut in some lines. Yep. So that is really cool. I've actually never seen it done like that. It makes it very safe. If you're in some like crazy weather and you have to do stuff in the sail, you're not really thinking about like getting your... There are not that many trip hazards yeah, on the boat exactly. here. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. That's yeah. what I was trying to say. Yeah. So here on the foredeck, we have our anchor winch right here. So here's the access to our anchor locker, but also storage and fresh water hookup as well. So pretty cool, really clean. Can store some dock lines here if you want to. And then if you need to get to your anchor chain, you just have to go further in there forward. Let's go back on port. I mean, everything is like protected. Look at it. Mm -hmm. It's completely protected and makes it look really flush and slick. Yeah, it's a very clean looking sailboat. So this cockpit has a bit of a tiered design. I really like it. It's so wide, you know, there's a lot of space to walk by. If people are sitting here, you could still, you know, walk by them and pass them if yep. someone is sitting here. So it's got this huge table. It's a really nice dining table for easily six people because you also have cushions that go here. That's that the reason one. you have these inserts there. So yeah. you can actually sit there with eight people. Well, yeah. Put two little poofs there and you have dinner for eight. Emergency bilge pump. Then if you lift this one up, that's where our line storage is. Oh, that's really cool too. Look how easy that is and clean. And we have that on both sides. So you can always clean up your cockpit. It doesn't need to look messy. You literally don't feel like the lines are overwhelming you, which you do feel sometimes on some big sailboats. Yep. Like you just have lines everywhere. So that's pretty cool. So then here on the back, I mean, of course, cup holders. Yes. <laughs> Then we have our Yanmar engine control here and RPM reader, etc. Raymarine VHF speaker there for the VHF radio. And then right below is the pump and selector valves for the hydraulic system, meaning the boom vang and the backstays. I'm just going to say, I am not sure if these are cup holders. They look more like wine holders. They're really wine wide. Wine bottle holders? <laughs> yes, they're really wide. So there are two large hatches here that we absolutely must explore and I will send my assistant in to uh, check it out. So I'll open this one check. if I can. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. So this is a lazarette? Yes. Okay, we're gonna have to have you in there. I have to go in there? Yes. Why? <laughs> so this is kind of like a lazarette slash workshop. If you hand me the camera. There's actually loads of storage space. Obviously there are tools right now there and some furniture blankets, but there's a lot of space in there. If you want to use it as a storage, you could have an additional fridge freezer space there if needed. Then we and have that whole thing there where you have the covers right now laying and yeah. it's all a workshop it's a, it's a, bench, it's, right? It's a workbench, exactly. And then you have storage underneath here where you can store your tools and 
everything you need to, you know, on the everyday base on the boat. It's pretty cool to have that. And we have like hooks here where you can hang lines and it's very convenient to have. And it's nicely protected. Like even if you have some bad weather and you have yeah. to get in, like this technically creates almost like a roof, even yeah. from the side wind. And then Other now side? on the port side, yeah, let's open that up. That's our crew cabin. Correct. Wow. Should I go in there? Sure. Okay. There's a lot of cushions here, you guys. Well, these are the cushions which are normally outside, but with a fresh finished teak, I didn't want to put them on. Okay, so all of these cushions are covering this whole cockpit. So Correct. every surface here has got a cushion that you could sit on. So it's all stored here, but I'll try to show you what's in here. Let's see. So this is technically a two crew cabin. There's a bed here and there's another bed here. Which is pretty large, actually. It's I don't know if you can large. see it, but it's almost a double wide. Yeah, because look how it goes goes all the way here so technically two people could come sleep here but it's a lot this is going forward right now we've mm -hmm. got some storage here and we have an ensuite oh look there's a fridge here as well right behind this door and then going forward we have our ensuite which is a wet head but it's pretty good size actually check this out it's big i can fully stand up here i'm five seven you've got a porthole did you say there's a washer and dryer here? There's a washer, I think, on the starboard side as well there. It's a Mealy washer and dryer combo. This is pretty cool. So if there's just two of you cruising on this boat, this whole area here just becomes your laundry slash storage. It's pretty awesome for yeah. extra provisioning and stuff. I gotta say, this is a lot of room. There's a lot of extra room, yeah. Yeah, and it, you've it, got a, basically a day head that you can use instead of going all it, the way down below. It could also be an overflow cabin. Oh, definitely, yeah. It's not bad at all. So yeah, this boat is a three cabin plus crew. So technically four cabin. All right, close it up. Yep. All right, another feature that is super cool and I haven't seen on too many sailboats is this retractable roof. So it opens all the way up and you have this area completely beautiful and sunny, which you would use a lot in sort of a colder climate, you know, cruising anywhere. Of course, if you're in Florida or the Caribbean, you probably have that close most of most the time, of the time just yeah. having a a really nice shade but how cool is that really nice we also have a little drink fridge on this side right here oh yeah should we check out the interior yes all right so what's really cool what Rico was talking about having this on deck salon is that you have sliding doors you really have a completely perfectly openable space which creates just this sort of outdoor indoor space which is not very common on a sailing yet all right, come on in. And then in terms of the refit, as you guys can see, like all these surfaces were refinished. Actually. Oh, was it a different color before? Yeah, there was just wood before and we covered it up with a nice vinyl. It just makes it look a little bit more modern and the owner liked it. Oh, nice. Okay. It's kind of going with that coffee finish on the interior as well. So all of these were redone? Yes. Wow. So as you're coming in, you're coming into this interior helm that we talked about, which right now all our shades are down, so you can't quite see the full visibility. And you have shades, you have mesh in the front as well. As you guys can imagine, it is a really, really nice view, literally 360 degrees when it's completely open. Absolutely. So very generous nav station actually on this boat. Everything is nicely tucked away. Of course, you have a nav table with your keyboard in there for the computer. This boat is equipped with an Eplex yacht management system. Here's one of the monitors, as you can see, so you can select everything, you can switch everything, all the lights. You have your tank monitoring on there. Let's just check that out. For example, here we see our fuel tanks, water tanks, waste tanks. So everything is on here at your fingertip. Got a fusion stereo here, another VHF speaker, VHF radio control right there. So here, if you, you know, at anchor or at the dock, you don't really need it. But if you underway, you fold this up, oh. you lift this up and then lock it in place. Oh, that's so cool. And then you have all your controls here you need. You have your autopilot here, you have your chart floater here, your multifunction display. You have your engine shift and throttle controls right there. So you can maneuver this boat underway you know, when you do any kind of long distance crossings or longer journeys, you can nicely sit inside, have your cup of coffee and just go out and tweak the sails here and there. And that's it. That is pretty awesome. Now we're going to go on starboard and I'm going to show you the galley, which is different as well. 
as it goes down. But it's still open to the rest of the boat. It's totally sociable. You can have a full-blown conversation. If someone's sitting at the helm there, you can easily communicate and talk to. It is definitely open. It does not feel dungeony at all. It does have a decent light and a good feel to it. But it's a comfortable galley. Great for one, but even two people can work in. There's a good amount of space to move around. So we have tons of storage here. I mean, there's so much storage here, you guys. There is a three burner cooktop with an oven. Also a hood right here, more storage. I mean, there's just, I'm not gonna open all of it. You guys can see, you know, the depths here. We've got a dual sink with a small little sink. And you know, I've been thinking about it and we talked about having one big sink, but I think our MBB list is gonna have to have a dual sink because mm -hmm. every time we unfreeze something, you don't wanna have it somewhere where you put in dirty dishes. Now True. that we've used it in the chart a few times, I feel like I would like to have like a smaller little sink for and freezing things mm -hmm. and then having a bigger sink. What do you think? Yeah, I like yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. Would you go for one big sink or two sinks? One smaller, one bigger? I'm curious what you think. We have our fridge right here and also there's access from down there as well. And then right here we have a fresh water. Oh, is it a water maker? Yeah, water maker control. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's really cool to have a water maker remote right in here so you can watch as you're making water, which in the places like where you usually use the most water. Use the most water, right? Yeah, I mean here in the shower of course but yeah that's really cool to have and then on this side we have a little bit of an open, open situation <laughs> at this moment so i guess the current owner is going to put in a microwave in here no there was one which was broken so, oh, it's, so you're it's getting replaced it. yeah but if it was me buying this boat i would say no cancel it i would totally put a dishwasher in here it's a really big space well, i knew you're gonna say that but actually the owner took a dishwasher out because these drawers there are custom made because there was a dishwasher in there before and he just didn't really like the idea of having a dishwasher he said he doesn't need one so he took the dishwasher out and replaced it with drawers he replaced the dishwasher <laughs> This tells you everyone uses their boat differently. I would never. So technically all the hookups are there. You could put it back yeah. in if you really wanted to. Yeah. Well, then you're gonna have both. All right, anyway, this is our galley and we're gonna go up and show you the salon. So there's tons of storage here, you guys. Mm -hmm. Lots of storage here. We've got a little... Like a this little... is a really cool drawer. Oh I yeah, think. that's that's a... Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah, that's a great drawer. Great space for it as well. So then we have another drink fridge right there. Yeah. It's good pretty size, convenient. Good size drink fridge. So we're coming into the salon. You're saying this layout was different? Completely different. Okay. Actually, over here where you see the high-low table yeah. and the sitting arrangement, that used to be a dining table with six chairs. So this whole built-in furniture didn't even exist. Wow. Where you're sitting on right now. Interesting. And then also what didn't exist is what is behind you is this pop-up TV. This is the quietest TV lift I've ever seen on a yacht. Why is this so quiet? What did you guys do? I, I <laughs> this think, is think, very quiet. I think it was like an $800 TV lift or something. It is really quiet. I mean, usually it's like, bzzz, yeah. bzzz, like there's nothing. So this entire furniture piece here was all built in. The walls were redone, completely refinished. It looks original. It looks like it was always there. I would have just but, assumed uh, this is how this yacht came. That's pretty interesting. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, for sure. So now you have proper seating. You have a little table you can do as a high-low. You can minimize the table by this much. Yep, and make it even smaller. And make it even smaller, like a cocktail or coffee table. Right now, it's getting used by the owners as a little dinner table for the two of them. Yeah, makes sense. Um, and then here, if you have more people, more guests, you use the exterior table. I mean, honestly, you can just replace the top of this table if you wanted a larger one and True. to like have the sleeves and have a much larger table. Before we go down below, I got to show you guys this feature because this is pretty sick the problem is it's covered huh, from the it's outside it's covered right now but you guys can tell how huge this is this whole thing opens up and the amount of daylight is insane and, and two more hatches yeah and you can open these two hatches and have this ridiculously awesome cross brace and you have a rail here 
to hang on to. So is there any storage underneath? All of the benches or the couches have storage underneath. Oh, wow. Pretty large storage, actually. That's amazing. So all this is rear poles. It's all ultra leather. It's like a faux leather, but it's super soft and really nice. The current owner wanted to have a carpet finish on the floor. Yeah. So we have a carpet custom made for this floor, but it can easily be removed because it's just floating. It's oh, just it's laying just on it. floating. So you Correct. can just take it off and there's wood underneath. Exactly. But it's not sliding. It has like a rubber backing. Yeah. So it's completely safe. Very cool. All right, let's check out the cabins. All right. Before we go down, I wanted to show you two hatches up here, which are kind of a nice little skylight for the cabin, but you can also open them. When you have all these upper hatches open and then you have like this great cross breeze coming in, you can also get some in the cabins down below if you don't want to run air conditioning. All right, come on down. First, we're going to go starboard. We have a double cabin here. It's very interesting how they resolve the headroom here. So they obviously needed all the space yeah. for the salon, but they still allowed enough space. I mean, exactly, I'm 5'7", so it's just enough mm -hmm. to be able to stand here. Of course, you have tons of headroom here to get ready and everything, but it's kind of neat because you could totally sit here and have plenty of headroom. doesn't go that low. I mean, of course, it's snug, but you have some storages there. You've got some exposed storage there and a door here, storage as well, mm -hmm. right here too. Look, a little bit of an exposed storage. You've got two. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's kind of, huh, interesting. And then here is our hanging locker. Well, not hanging yet, but hanging locker here. Yeah, pretty decent storage. And also there's a door here that leads us to what I'm assuming is our day head, right? Slash ensuite. Uh -huh. So this is our ensuite. It is a wet head. Right here is our shower. The floor feels really nice in here. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a like a Korean. Korean. Yeah, we have a good amount of storage. Check this out. Oh yeah, there's some shelves here as well. Mm -hmm. Storage in here, sink, of course the toilet and i will see you on the other side sounds good hello okay now we're gonna go port we have a double bed like a queen size almost it's like a boat queen and we have some also exposed storages here and one two oh yeah that's a good amount plus this whole closet again mm -hmm. very good it's pretty much matching amount of storage to the other side and it also has an ensuite wow Come on in. Here we have our dehumidifier working. Yeah, I, I usually recommend it on all the boats just to keep your humidity out of the boat and get all the odors and, you know, don't get any smells inside the boat. Yeah, especially if the boat is not getting used often and it's not a liveaboard, you know, constantly on it. Mm -hmm. You definitely want to do that. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, so here's our shower. Good size shower. Yeah, I got a walk-in walk -in shower. It's a one-person, good albo shower. And then we have storage all the way there underneath. We have a hatch that we can open check out the master let's check out the master okay we're gonna go forward all the way forward what's this Nothing? just a mirror behind there is electronic boxes just cables and oh, back end stuff interesting it's kind of nice how they mask this you can't even tell I'm like, i only saw these the hinges like, right something here. yeah so the eplex system has a lot of junction boxes behind there so if you need to maintain anything or repair something that is the place you want to go look and you have a full-size mirror come on into the master so this is definitely a bit of a unique layout there's a queen size bed here on this side. There's a giant closet. Whoa, that's just half of it. There's another half behind this door. And then we have a really good size settee. Little kid can totally sleep here. It's mm -hmm. pretty big. Check out this cabin. When you're in it, you really cannot tell that you're on a sailboat. It's so cozy. Yeah, it's also really tall. Yeah. It's very bright if you want it to be. To me, it really feels like you're on the motor yacht. Mm -hmm. I really would have a hard time telling if you just put me here. I wouldn't so, really know. So you have a TV over there, which we installed. If you open both of these things, now you can swivel over to watch TV in bed. Oh, that's cool. I like that. And then we also have storage, 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 tons and tons of storage here. Are these portholes openable? Mm -hmm. Or both of these? And they're protected. Ah, they're inside they're the in walks. They're inside of the walks. So first of all, you have privacy when you leave them open because nobody can really look in. Safety, privacy, everything. Correct. That's very cool. But you still get the breeze in. And then you have two large overhead hatches, which we saw from the exterior, you remember? This is a very nice cabin. 
it's so tall you guys i'm just thinking of like some of our you know larger friends tall big and tall guys like usually could say sailboat is not for me this is a lot of space mm -hmm. if you're into sailing this is definitely a, a nice compromise in terms of being able to fit in this cabin this is amazing i want to see the head so all the way forward oh what interesting okay oh i see so our head is right here our sink some storage storage there hey cute and then the shower all the way forward with a huge hatch that's the hatch that we saw from. correct so if that would be open right now it's covered but if that would be open you would have a massive amount of daylight and the breeze oh yeah like being able to air out this whole cabin. Wow. And then there's another hatch here, which you can also open. No way. No, sorry. That's just a oh. window. Wow, this is really cool. I mean, again, it's a one and a half person shower, I guess. But you also have this little bench here. Mm -hmm. You could sit and shower if you've got some bad seas and you, you still want to shower off. You can do that. You do have a bench. And then behind the towel there. Yes. If you want to open that. So you got access to the bow thrust that we mentioned. Then there's also a breaker panel and more Eplex control modules it's pretty cool right pretty cool for servicing yeah pretty impressed with this cabin i must say and the teak grate we custom made oh you guys put this in mm -hmm. i really like it looks really nice check out the engine room yeah let's do it where's the engine room <laughs> you're standing on it oh it's right here yes okay well then i guess it's your job all right, well, here we are in the center engine room, which is in the floorboard, which is right behind the salon. So we have the Yanmar main engine right here, which is 150 horsepower Yanmar. And there you see more access hatches actually from the galley if you need access to that side of the engine, but you can still go around here. There's a fire suppression system right there. Then moving around here, we have the Fisher Panda generator right next to me here. Then we have the air conditioned circulation pump. There's another Eplex model module there, air conditioned chiller system right there. So now if I turn around, we have the hot water heater right in there in front of us, the silver looking thing. And then our Vectron energy inverters and chargers all mounted there, as well as the engine room breaker panel with all the high voltage breakers there. And then again, more Eplex modules mounted here. One of the tank accesses right there. Then all the way in the back here, we see the shaft. So it's a straight shaft out to the back. It's not a sail drive. And that's it for the engine room. Alrighty, you guys, this completes our tour of this Moody 62 DS. I hope you found it interesting and it satisfied your craving for a really blue water sailing worthy vessel. We do have some major updates coming to the channel really, really soon. I know some of you that are following us on Instagram already heard a little rumors so definitely check us out on instagram if you're interested in finding out some more little hints but if you want to be the very first one to know about our big huge giant news and updates that are coming to the channel definitely consider joining us on the patreon because our naughty crew is the first to know what is happening with us so we will see you on instagram we're there every day come say hello and definitely make sure that you are subscribed and your notification bell is on and go to youtube settings in your phone app and make sure that those notifications are on this way you will never miss a new video and you will not miss our big giant huge updates that are coming to the channel and cue my assistant enjoy the outtakes ciao How do I look? Good. Just pull it down a little bit this way. Yeah, perfect. They're too big for me. They're too big of a pen. Okay, put the sweater. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. So we have the touch screen, but we also up to have the <coughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really beautiful bow. Oh, what's that? Careful. Careful, Victoria. So oh, come on. Okay. This so is, this is a sailing yacht. That's really more you than me. So. Okay, okay. Goes all the way in there. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> is that a heavy hatch or what? Okay, I'm coming out. Ready? Yeah. I'm coming out. Exactly. Oh, I wasn't listening to you. When did you say that? Okay. Okay, go ahead. <laughs>
can do as a high low and you can also smaller the table um, or smaller small is another you can minimize the table <laughs> coriander what i call it coriander <laughs> yeah anyway hey guys welcome back to naughty styles uh. <laughs> okay <laughs>